Bro, what would you do if someone told you that they were going to kill themselves? Of course, rush down lah. So do you know that there's this TV series called Girl from Plainsville? And it was actually based on an actual crime that people refer to as the texting suicide case. The texting? So in 2012, Michelle Carter and Conrad Roy met during a family trip in Florida and eventually got into a relationship. Despite living less than an hour apart, most of their communication was online. Everything was going going well, or so they thought. On 13 July 2014, police discovered the body of an 18-year-old Conrad in his pickup truck parked outside Kmart in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. 18 years old. Conrad had killed himself by attaching a hose from a portable generator and filling his car with carbon monoxide. So initially, police ruled his death as suicide as Conrad suffered from depression and anxiety. However, after looking through Conrad's phone, they discovered some some pretty disturbing information. So prior to his passing, Conrad had exchanged texts with Michelle regarding the decision to end his life and Michelle encouraged him to do so. Why would you do that? So on the day of his suicide, she texted him, you keep pushing it off and say you do it, but you never do. It's always gonna be that way if you don't take action. So Michelle was also on the call with Conrad as the carbon monoxide filled the truck. And when he had a moment of hesitation and got out of the truck, she told him to get back in. There was also evidence of Michelle's text messages to her friend where Michelle admitted that she could have saved him. However, she just listened to him as he suffered in the truck. So Michelle Carter was then found guilty for involuntary manslaughter in 2017 and was sentenced to 15 months in prison. 15 months? 15 months. They let a killer like that out. But you know what's the messed up part? There's more. Right now, she is free. Michelle Carter was released in 2020 on good behaviour and of course now keeps a low profile. I won't be surprised if vigilantes or people started like hunting for her. Maybe let's use this opportunity to like reach out a bit to like people out there. If you really need help, like seriously just seek help. It's yeah. okay to seek help. Yeah, if your yeah. partner is toxic and telling you to do things that you shouldn't, Okay, just break up. It's breakup season anyway. Wait for what? If you're looking for a sign, this is your sign. Let's spread a bit more positivity in the world. We need it. Okay, do your most positivity face. What the hell is that?